Texas family is trying to bring dozens of children from Ukraine back to the US. The plan was to bring 300 children to the US from Ukraine, but that was before Russia invaded. So joining me now to talk about it, Elena Lawrence. Good morning, Elena, can you hear me? Good morning, yes ma'am. So first tell me, what are these challenges? You were supposed to be getting 300 Ukrainian children to the US. These were adoptions that were in process before Russia invaded Ukraine, is that right? Yes, ma'am. So there are 200 families adopting uh, 300 Ukrainian children that most of them had already known and lived in their home through Ukraine approved hosting programs. Wow. So you say that families are even getting further with Ukraine than the U.S. government has been able to do. So, I, so that means so the U.S. government has tried to help these families get their children who they're trying to adopt, but your organization is, is making better strides than they are? We actually are. We've been working with a um, uh, former senator out of New Jersey. We've called on Ted Cruz, August Pfluger, um, several other Texas representatives to push this initiative. Um, but most of the work has been done through uh, UkraineCare300.org. And this is the organization that the 200 families bound together to create um, to grab momentum for this initiative. And we're not asking for a fast track to adoptions. We're asking that Ukraine and the United States come up with agreements um, to keep the kids safe in the homes that they know and love with the families that have started the process of adoption just until the war's over and then the adoptions can continue legally again. Wow, so what, what exactly do you want the government to do? Like if they were to be listening to you and, and, and what, what would you like to come of this? We would like the United States to reach out to Ukraine. We know that there are strong communications. The United States has demonstrated that um, we're trustworthy and that Ukraine, you know, Ukraine can count on us to keep the kids safe. We'd like President Biden to reach across the aisle and ask Ukraine um, and assure Ukraine that these children will be returned when the war is over um, until the adoption processes can resume. That's all we're asking. We're asking them to just let the children come here, keep them out of the war zone. Over 500 children have been murdered by Russia in Ukraine. We have an opportunity to take 300 children who know these families and keep them safe and then return them to Ukraine, like I said, until the adoptions can, can uh, happen again. So they know they know the families because they're with the families because they've ha, explained to me how they how they know them. So Ukraine has uh, approved hosting programs in the United States. And for example, for our family, we actually hosted our children um, 12 weeks out of the year for two years um, and made the uh, commitment to continue to adopt the children. Since the war started, though, we're still in contact with our children. Mm -hmm. A lot of families have gone overseas and brought supplies um, to help because the need is so great in these other countries who've accepted the children as refugees. But American families are still continuing to support the children there. Mm -hmm. So you know some of these children personally? Yes, the children that we were in the process of adopting lived with us for 12 weeks um, in 2019 and in 2021. Mm -hmm. um, so yes, we, we do know them. Are you worried for them right now? I am. Our children are in some pretty um, dire situations. We know that there's been some trafficking. Um, we know that there's a lot of abuse. Um, we held a summit in D.C. in July where a lot of these abuses were uncovered. And we had videos. And unfortunately, Voice of America and one other media outlet showed up to our event. Um, U.S. government officials said that they would be there, but we didn't see anybody. Do you know about how many Texas families this is impacting? How many Texans are trying to adopt from Ukraine? There are quite a few. I'd have to look back in the um, in in our press release to get those exact numbers for you. But there were quite a few. Actually, Texas is one of the larger states with the most children being adopted. OK, well, what do you want people to take away from this interview this morning? What, what would you like people to know about your organization and, and y'all's efforts? We would like everybody to get on the phone and to call their representatives and ask their representatives to come up with a solution um, in the state to go to the Biden administration and ask the Biden administration um, to create this bilateral you know, you know, country agreement with Ukraine um, to get the children over here. Yeah, well,
thank you so much for your time this morning. And of course, anybody watching this would wish the, the best for those children. You know, they're the ones who are really suffering from this. So um, thank you for everything that you're doing and best of luck to you guys. Elena Lawrence, thank you, thank you for joining us.